In this video, we're going to be talking about graphing and solving compound inequalities. We're first going to be talking about AND statements, and that has to do with solving two inequalities at one time. That's why it's called a compound. So for this first question, it says that all real numbers that are greater than negative 3, so we have x is greater than negative 3, and that's your keyword, less than 2. So we have x is greater than negative 3 and x is less than 2. You could also write it as this, where it's negative 3 is less than x, which is less than 2. That is also another way that you might see an and statement. So you could see it where there's the and in between, or you can see it like this that it's saying that x is greater than negative 3 and x is less than 2. So if you read it that way. So how you want to graph this is because they're both not equal to, you would graph at negative 3 in open circle, you would graph at 2 in open circle, and you want numbers that are greater than negative 3, which is going to go this way, and you want numbers that are less than 2. So your graph is always, for and statements, going to be facing each other. So how you'd write your interval notation is you would do parentheses, negative 3, comma, 2, parentheses. Because they're both not including that number, so you want all numbers that are between. So this next one, you have all real numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than 3. So and is that keyword right there. So you want number all numbers that are greater than or equal to 1. So we have... Um, numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 1 and numbers that are less than 4. So you also could write this as negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 4. You, that would be another way that you would see the and statement. And if you see, it does make sense. And you always want to have this from least to greatest if you write it in this way, because negative 1 is less than or equal to x, where this is saying x is greater than or equal to negative 1, and x is less than 4. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a closed circle on negative 1, a open circle on 4, and you want numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 1, so you want to go this way. You want numbers that are less than 4, so you want to go that way. So that's what the arrows, or in this case, the line is right in the middle, because it's all the numbers that are between those two. So for our interval notation, it's going to be a bracket, negative 1, comma, 4, parenthesis. In this one, you are including because it's equal to. In this one, you are not including, so it's a parenthesis. So in these next two, we're now going to be solving compound inequalities with the AND statement. So in this case, it's written as an AND statement. And your whole goal is that you have to get x by itself. But because it's two equations, you have to make sure that you, um, whatever you do in the center of your equation is going to, you're going to have to do it to the left and right of all the inequalities. So for example, um, to get x by itself, you have to add 5. So what you do in the middle, you also have to do on both sides. So you have negative 8 plus 5, which is going to give me a negative 3, is less than x. So now it's by itself. And is less than or equal to a negative 2 plus 5 is going to give me a positive 3. So now we have um, our values where if you wanted to rewrite them, it would be x is greater than negative 3 and x is less than or equal to 3. So we want numbers that are greater than negative 3, so we're going to do an open circle. We want numbers that are equal or less than or equal to 3, so we want a closed circle. And then that would be all the numbers in between. So AND statements are always numbers in between those. So our interval notation is going to be parentheses, negative 3, comma, 3, brackets. Our last one, we still want to get x by itself, and if you, if you see, it's 10 is less than or equal to 2x plus 4, which is less than or equal to 24. So we're going to get rid of that 4 first, so we're going to subtract 4. Now we have to do it to all of the sides. So we have 10 minus 4, which is 6, 
which is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than or equal to 20. Now to get rid of the x, we want to divide by 2, so you divide all the sides by 2. So you get 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 10. So that's also saying that x is greater than or equal to 3, and x is less than or equal to 10. So we want a closed circle on 3, a closed circle on 10, and we want numbers that are gr greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 10. So our interval notation is going to be a bracket, 3, comma, a 10, and a bracket.